We've been outside this afternoon. You know it feels like summer already, but some strong storms are heading our way. So we're going to head back over to Larissa, who has a check of the forecast. Larissa, how's it looking out there? It's warm, Janelle, warm and becoming humid as we speak. Temperatures right now are already in the mid-70s across Center City. Some areas have already reached into the 80s, and it is only noon, so we're going to continue to climb as far as our temps are concerned. We send it outdoors. Current look outside right now. Those clouds will continue to break. Philadelphia, you're sitting at 76 degrees, and that dew point, pay attention to that number because it is approaching uncomfortable territory at 60 two degrees at the moment. Our saving grace is that warm breeze out of the southwest right now at 13 miles an hour. And later on this afternoon, we will be peaking, reaching our peak at 85 degrees with partial sunshine, hot and humid out there. As we head towards tonight, we will see some of these storms move into the region. This is the cold front that we are watching. And as it continues to press closer to our area, uh, we are going to see the possibility for strong to severe thunderstorms. Notice our severe weather outlook. The green that you see, that's north of Philly. That's under a marginal risk for severe weather. That's level one of five. And then just to the north, so I'm talking to northern Lehigh Valley, back towards the Poconos, you're under a slight risk for severe weather with the bullseye staying to our north over New York State. Right now, they are under an enhanced risk for severe weather. So timing it all out for us, notice here by 630, we already begin to see some of these in individual cells pop up. At least this is what this particular model is hinting at. And we can see it pretty much pop up anywhere. We already have the ingredients, which is heat and humidity. That's locked in place. And you couple that with a strong frontal boundary moving through. We can certainly see some severe weather over the region, but the biggest threat, as I mentioned, will stay north of Philadelphia. Now, showers and even brief downpours will continue to be the trend through the evening and into the overnight hours. Here's a look at 2.30 a.m. on Saturday, and you can see those brighter returns over the areas where we think uh, the potential for severe weather is certainly a factor. The primary concerns being damaging winds as well as small hail. Tonight remaining very mild with temperatures in the upper 50s. Once again, strong to severe storms staying north of Philly, but still not quite out of the question. And then believe it or not, we're already watching the tropics. We have a potential tropical development here with an 80% chance of development in the next two days. And I've brought this to your attention because we may be tapping into some of that moisture here on Tuesday, Janelle. But as you can see, it does turn quite unsettled as we head towards the next week. You'll need that umbrella.